We ran away from that guy faster than me running away from my mom when she's about to hit me with the chancleta, okay? We were gone. Alright, what is going on guys? I'm We Got Bored and welcome back to another video. Now, I've been saying I would have a story time video coming out soon for the past like month and so here it finally is. We got another story time video. The first one in probably like a really long time. I'm pretty sure the last time I made a story time video was like two or three days ago. So it's been a hot minute, okay? But we're back at it. Now, as you can see, if you're not blind, something's a little different, okay? Instead of the Modern Warfare gameplay or like instead of having something ugly in the background like my face, we got some Cold War gameplay for you guys. Call of Duty Cold War, I got some mixed opinions on it. But with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video, boys. So you Usually when I make a story time, it's usually about something that happened like a day or two ago or like a couple days ago. That's usually how I start the videos is a couple days ago this happened, but this was actually like a really long time ago. Like this story is probably from like a month or two ago or like three months ago or something like that. So a couple months ago, I was sitting around in the house, you know, as usual, just having a good time, playing some Xbox, playing with myself, just whatever I could do to keep myself from being bored. But you know what? I got tired of sitting around. I was just sitting there all day. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll hang out with the boys. Like the last time I talked to anybody was talking to little Timmy in the Call of Duty lobby, trash talking. So I decided I was gonna get out and do something, you know? So I texted a couple of my friends and we decided we were gonna go downtown and just have a good time. So fast forward a couple hours and we were downtown eating Five Guys or something. By the way, speaking of Five Guys, my boy Moko Mafia made a video a while back where he took like a whole crate of those peanuts from Five Guys. So if you haven't already, go check his videos out. He's in the comments of like every single one of my videos. So go check him out. We may or may not be doing a video soon. So I'll be on the lookout for that too. So we were all downtown getting something to eat, just like doing whatever. And we see this homeless guy walking around. Or I'm pretty sure he was homeless at least because he was like walking around asking people for money like two plus two is four he, uh, he's going around asking people for money he looks like jimmy butler yeah he's probably homeless so we all finish eating and we decide we're gonna go up and like do something else so we get up and walk around and the jimmy butler looking guy the homeless dude comes up to us so he walks over to us and he's like hey guys i was just wondering if you had any spare change i would really appreciate it if you could give me some you know helping out the homeless so my friend shuffles around in his pockets a little he grabs a couple coins and he gives them to him right just just a generous act of kindness so the homeless guy's like thank you very much god bless your soul and he leaves he goes on with his day okay so we keep on walking we go and do something else i don't know i think we got like ice cream or something so we walk out of the ice cream store with all our ice cream and we see the same homeless guy again the jimmy butler looking guy and he was just hustling like usual you know getting his checkup as he does around town so we were like wow what a coincidence like we saw him two times we ran into him okay that's pretty cool like he's just going around the same places in town that we are wow i'm sure there's not anything wrong with that it's just a coincidence you know so we just went on with our day like he just like somehow happened to be in the exact same spot that we were but we, we didn't really think anything of it you know like why why would that be anything suspicious? He's just a homeless dude looking for some cash and he's like finding a new market, a new area of people. There's nothing wrong with that. He's just uh, got the money maker mentality. I respect that. So we start walking down the street again looking for something else to do because there's literally nothing to do in town, okay? Like I'm not going to say where I live, of course, but all I'm going to say is once you've been to Uncle Julio's, the best restaurant in existence, and you've seen the homeless guy who follows you around town asking for money, which we'll get to that later, okay? Don't worry. But after you've done those two things, you've basically seen everything that the town has to offer. So we were kind of bored at that point. So we're walking around looking for something to do and we decided to go to like the 7-Eleven or CVS or like one of those types of stores. I got like a Mountain Dew and like some Hot Cheetos or something, you know, the, the typical gamer meal. I don't know how people think Red Bull is better than Mountain Dew. Like I'm just convinced that to make Red Bull, they take bulls and like make them piss into a soda can and then like put sugar in it and call it a day. So I paid for all my stuff. Nav, who was working at the counter, told me I have a nice day and then we walked out. I just kind of stuffed the change in my pocket. It was only a couple bucks anyway. So we go out and there's like a skate shop pretty close to the CVS. And I'm actually a skater myself. You know, I do my fair share of skateboarding because I do know a lot of tricks. Like, uh, I can probably do, like, an ollie and an ollie. A lot of people tell me I should go pro, but, like, it's no big deal. So, you know, since I'm a Tony Hawk pro skater, we decided we would go over to the skate shop. Plus, there's, like, a sitting area right next to it, so we would just eat the stuff we got there. So, we sit down, and I'm chugging the Mountain Dew, like, Badlands chugs, okay? It was hot out there that day. And then I put the drink down, I close up the cap and all that, and we're just chilling there talking about stuff. And I look over to, like, my right. And who do I see sitting in the table next to us? I want you guys to guess, because I'm sure you can't figure out who it was that we saw yet another time. Okay, we saw this homeless dude again. The exact same dude, Jimmy Butler from the Miami Heat, okay? The exact same guy with the raggedy clothes, that's why your shoe's raggedy, was sitting like two tables across from us. Now, I looked over to him, and he seemed to be minding his business just like he did the last two times we saw him, but the fact that we had seen him a third time was not okay. Like, I don't know if he's a fan of the YouTube channel or something, so he wanted to, like, get a picture with me or something, but he seemed pretty interested in us. Like, we saw him once, okay, no big deal, like, nothing's wrong with that. We see him another time, okay, what a coincidence, like, we keep going but three times 
third time's a charm, man. Something was up. Now, of course, I was not gonna walk up to him and ask if he was following us around or something like that, because that would only make things worse. But he was going around doing his thing, asking for money, you know, asking for some financial support. And I was like, you know what? Maybe he's just following us because he wants some financial support from these nice looking boys, okay? He's probably like, this group of kind young men gave me some money one time. Maybe they'll do it again. So I might just take my chances, right? And so I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just go over, give him something. I just got some change from the 7-Eleven, so I'll give him like a dollar. I'll probably just give him some cash and he'll be on his way. You know, he got what he wanted, problem solved. So I go over to him. I'm like, hey, mister, I just have this little bit of change for you. God bless your soul. Have a nice day. He was like, thank you very much. He was very appreciative. And I just walked away. He walked away. Everything was good, okay? Now, I thought that would be the end of it, okay? I thought we would just walk away. He would be like, oh, what nice, generous young boys. You know, I'm sure I'm sure they have a whole lot of racks, a whole lot of stacks. So it's nice of them to give me some money. But since I'm really, really stupid, that was not the case, okay? Giving him that dollar was probably the worst mistake I've ever made in my life. Because what he was thinking was not, oh, these guys gave me money a couple times. I'm just going to leave them alone now because they already gave me money okay they paid the homeless guy tax no 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 no. that's not what he's thinking he is thinking okay i got this money from these kids one time and then i followed them around for a little while and they gave me money again so what am i gonna do again if i want more money i'm gonna follow around these kids like what two plus two is four it's not that complicated so after i gave him a dollar i sat back down with my friends we were just chilling there for a little while more i told him the homeless dude is right there yet again i just gave him a dollar hopefully he'll go away this time but just to make sure he goes away let's get up and leave and see what he does because if we got up and then he got up too then it would be a really really big problem okay so we got up and we just got on our way just like we normally would any other day we get up and start walking down the street and i was like okay just walk a little bit look behind us like after a little while and if he's walking down the street with us then we run so we get about like 50 100 yards out from the skate shop and i look back because i'm looking for the guy i'm like okay is he still sitting there like what's the deal so i look back i'm looking at the chairs and the tables and stuff and he is nowhere to be found He's not where he just was sitting like two minutes ago when we were still there. So I keep looking and where is Jimmy Butler the homeless dude? He is like 20 feet behind us. He just decided that when we got up and started walking to somewhere else, he was going to walk there too. He was like, you know what? I bet they're doing something fun. I'm going to go walk with them. I bet that's a good idea. Like what? Come on now, like he wasn't even being like secretive this time. He wasn't even hiding it at all. He was just walking with us, you know, right behind us, following us. So I was like, you know what, guys, how about we walk a little faster and see what he does? So we go to a little bit of a jogging pace, you know, de decent, decent workout, I say. So we start jogging a little bit. We do it for a little while and I look back and guess what he's doing? He's jogging. So as soon as we saw that he was jogging behind us at like a, like a pretty good pace, like with a purpose he was coming for, we just looked at each other and started sprinting, like as fast as we could. Like, you know how? on the discovery channel they have like the the animal chase scenes like they the deer is running away from the cheetah or like the lion or whatever like because they're about to get eaten or something yeah we were the deer about to get eaten by this homeless dude okay it was terrifying i didn't even look back to see if he was still running at us because i didn't want to slow us down okay i just kept running we like cut through this parking lot and everything we made sure that he wasn't chasing us anymore like it was like a solid minute before we even thought about stopping okay we were gone so we run for a little while we start to like catch our breath slow down a little bit i look back i don't see him thankfully we didn't see him the rest of the time that we were there we were only there for like another half hour or like an hour or something like that i'm not sure point is though we lost him everything was okay if we didn't lose him i don't know if i would be making youtube videos anymore but on that note guys that is gonna be the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it i certainly enjoyed making it let me know if you guys want to see more story times in the future because when i used to do them as like my main type of video you guys really enjoyed it no, we didn't. Nobody cares. Of course, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like and leave a comment. I would really appreciate it. We're on the road to 500 subscribers. 10 million is just around the corner. Click the link in the description to buy some We Got Bored hoodies. I mean, Tyler Hero wore it. It must be good, okay? Subscribe to the channel. We Got Bored for more random videos at random times. And I will see you guys in the next one.